Hello, and welcome to Time Drops. In this video I will demonstrate how to use the Time Drops wireless swim timing system with Hitex Meet Manager. To use Meet Manager with Time Drops, you need a PC with Windows 10 or higher. If you haven't already, you need to install the Time Drops MM Link application from the Microsoft Store. Just open the Microsoft Store and search for Time Drops MM Link, then install the app. The next step is to set the Time Drops console to use Meet Manager. On the tablet, open the menu and go to Settings. Scroll down and tap the Meet Management System option. Verify the generic files for Meet Manager is selected, then go back to the main screen. In Meet Manager, make sure that your Meet uses Sessions. Go to Events, then Sessions. If necessary, click Add to create a session. Enter the name, start time, and interval for the session. 30 seconds is a typical value. Then, click Move All to add the events to the session. Now you can go to the Run screen. There you can configure the interface with time drops. Click Interfaces, then Setup, then Timing Console Interface. Select Generic Network File Sharing, then click OK. I will now move the tablet screen so that you can see Meet Manager and the Time Drops console at the same time. The next step is to generate a session report. This has to be done only once per meet, unless you add teams or events. Go to Reports, then Sessions. Click Select All. Check Flat HTML and check the other boxes as shown. Then, press Create Report. When prompted, select a folder for the data exchange. It is a good practice to create a new folder for each Meet to avoid confusion. I create a folder called Meet2. The default file name for the report is session.htm and must not be changed. Close the window. The next step is to export the Meet program. For this, go to Reports, then select Meet program. At this step, it is important to select a single session for the export. Never select all events. Then, click Select All on the menu. On the Format tab, check Flat HTML. On the Include in Meet Program tab, select the options as shown. Then, click Create Report. Select the same directory as before. Make sure not to change the name of the report file. Now start the MM Link app. Click Browse to select the same folder again for the data exchange. MM Link will send the program to the tablet. MM Link can now be minimized and will run in the background. The last step is to configure Meet Manager for the results import. Select Interfaces, then select Dataset. On the dialog, click Update Data Location, and again pick the same folder. Click the previous Meet button until you see the data set with the correct Meet number and date. Then press Close. You are now ready to run the Meet, but first I will show you how you can combine events such as Boys and Girls Relays. This feature can save a lot of time. First, on the tablet screen, open the menu and go to the Meet screen. Here you can choose which types of events or heats the system will try to combine. By default, this is enabled for relays. For the combining to work, you will have to rearrange the lanes in adjacent events, such that each lane is only used once. 
So I moved the girls relays from lanes 4 and 5 into lanes 1 and 6, and the boys relays into lanes 4 and 5. Then re-export the meet program using reports, then meet program. The settings have not changed, so just press select all, then create report. Overwrite the existing meetprog.htm. The tablet will now update and show the combined events 2 and 3. The other relays have already been combined in this meet. I can now run the meet. I trigger the start horn to run the clock. To speed this up, I will finish the race early by pushing the lane buttons one by one. The tablet will show that the race was saved, and MM Link will also show a log of the race completion. I can now load the result by pressing Get Times in Manager. In parallel, I can already start the next race on the console. This is the combined events 2 and 3. The tablet knows that these events are combined, but will split the results into two separate files for each event. Therefore I can simply load the results for event 2 and 3 as normal, just as if they had been run separately. Again, I can run the next heat in parallel. I click get times for event 2, then for event 3. The results are properly assigned for each event. Now I will show what to do if changes are done during a meet. For instance, let's scratch the relay in lane 6. To update the tablet, simply export the program again. This can be done safely even if the race is already in progress. As soon as the meetprog.htm is written, the tablet will reflect the change. Performing these updates during the meet will help to avoid miscommunications. To show how to handle added swimmers, I will jump ahead to an individual event. On the tablet, I scroll down, then long press the desired heat and tap run. This heat has a few empty lanes, and at the last minute a swimmer is added to lane 2. The race has already started, and I need to tell the system of the added swimmer in lane 2. I tap the lane button to toggle it on. Now I add the swimmer in Meet Manager. Tap the Adjust button, then drag the added swimmer into the lane, and save. Then re-export the program again. The added swimmer will now be reflected on the console. The race can now finish as normal. Because time drops and Meet Manager are now in sync, the results will be correctly assigned to each swimmer when getting times. And that's all. Thanks for watching.